what would you do? How are you today? Nice to see you. Hey, another great crowd here at the Nick Studios in Orlando, Florida. Well, I'm sure you've all heard. Whoa, listen to that. Calm down, calm down. Whoa. What did you feed these people? You've all heard that light travels faster than sound, I'm sure, but can anybody here explain that? See, nobody can explain. I don't get it either. Well, let, let, me, let, let me make it very simple. First, you see something, and then you hear it. It's kind of like this. Ready? Hi, I'm Mark Summers. <laughs> Thank you very much. You see that? Well, you get the idea. Anyway, science made simple. Mr. Wizard, eat your heart out. Now, on today's show, we're to, going to explore not only the senses of sight and sound, but all of the five senses, including touch, taste, and smell. So stick around, because you're not going to believe how much fun science can be on this edition of Use Your Senses on What Would You Do? What? We'll see you in a minute. <laughs> I'm Mark Summers. Oh, sorry, I got to talk to you about uh, this in just a second. But every day we pick a co-host who's uh, been standing out in line, sweating and uh, hoping. Well, will we get into the show? Well, this person not only got in, he is my co-host. Please welcome from Burke, Virginia, Mr. Kevin Schreiber. Here he is. Hi, Kevin. How you doing? So, you ever get a chance to watch the show at home? Oh yeah, a lot. And did you always hope that maybe you'd get a chance to participate? Yeah, but, but here you are, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty neat. Now, you're going to help us out a lot, especially in this first routine, all right? Now, did you ever notice the weird shapes that you can make with food? Uh, yes, I did. I bet you did. Have you ever tried to uh, maybe spell things with alphabet soup? Yeah. You know, see, we've all tried to do those things. I'm looking for somebody who wants to uh, watch me play with some food, who wants to help me uh, guess some things. We're going to play our own little game show within a game show. Why don't you come down and help me out? Why don't you come on over here? And I need uh, another person. This gentleman, why don't you come down and help me out? Sir, you help me out. Help me out over here. All the way over here. You, sir, can stand right over here. You can stand over here. Okay, now I'm going to kind of pretend like I'm Alex Trebek over here, and we're going to play uh, our own version of uh, Jeopardy, uh, except it's food pretty or something like that. So, young man, tell me what your name is, sir. Raphael. Where are you from, Raphael? Miami, Florida. Very good. Nice to see you. And uh, your name is? Tiffany. And where are you from? Scottsdale, Arizona. Very good. And what's your name? Al. Where are you from, Al? Sarasota, Florida. Very good. Okay, now here's what we're going to do. I have some watermelon over here. And what I'm going to do is by eating various parts of this and ripping the rinds apart, spell a word, okay? Now, the first person who can tell me what that word is can jump in, hit that bell. The first one of you that gets two correct gets a token, and a little bit later you go to the wall of stuff. The other two people, we have a little gift for you as well, but uh, you may not like it quite as much, okay? So, um, you hold on to the microphone for me. And now you guys may not be able to see what's going on up over here, so we have a television monitor which you can watch and we can wheel it out so these guys can see, we'll take a shot of that. So you can either watch here or watch there, but as soon as you know what it is, I want you to ring that bell and if you're right, uh, you get a point. So the first word is that, okay, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, here is the first one. Okay, I'm gonna do this over here, just like that, and I'm going to go, uh, okay, there's that, there's that, okay. Uh, mm. Mm. Uh, oh good, that'll be good. Um, there we go. Yes, yes, sir. Hi, right. oh, you got it. That's absolutely right. That would have done it. Take a look at that. Hi. Okay. Now, Vanna couldn't be here today, so uh, I have to clear up my own mess here. We'll just kind of put this over here. Okay, what's the next word? Next word is cat. Now, sir, if you answer the next one, oh, I just gave you the word. I said the next word is cat. You see, folks, let me explain the rules of this game. If I give them the answers, there's no show, <laughs> is there? Okay. So, uh, so cat won't be it. We'll go to the next one, and I promise I won't say what this one is. Okay. So we're gonna try this now. If you get this right, we send them elsewhere, and uh, well, I'll carry on. Okay. Here's the next one. There we go. I'll put that over there, and uh, see if I can figure this out. This could be tough. Um, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Now this is gonna be a lot of fun. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, now I believe you were first. Yes, man. Dog. You got it. Very good. Dog. All of a 
a sudden, I'm in the produce business. Okay. Now you have one. You have one, Raphael. You don't have anything just yet. You got to get another. So what's the next one? Uh, it is. Oh, it's that one. Okay. Okay. Good. Here we go. No, I already used that one. That's disgusting. Okay. We're gonna lean off the board here. There's that. What's the word again? Oh, okay. Uh, I'm running out of letters. Okay. Oh, who was first? I didn't get a chance to see. Did you see this man? If you are right, sir, you win the game. What is it? Ow. You did it! It's a cow! It's unbelievable! You see? That would have been it. Here's a man who plays entirely too much with his food, ladies and gentlemen. You do get a token. Do I have a token? I might have one in my pants here. Uh, yeah, hold on. You'll get to go to the wall of stuff, so uh, you get to go way up, and the audience will see you a little bit later. Let's hear it for you. Come on over here. Thank you, Kevin. You did a great job. Uh, I need you to stand right over here, and you must stand right over here. Do we have a couple of pies for them, Kevin? Can you give me those pies? That would be really nice. Thank you so much. Oh, Kevin is obviously great at this. You get to hold on to this one. You get to hold on to this one. Face each other. On the count of three, you hit her with that pie, and you hit him. Ready, audience, on the count of three. One, two. Now, what sense did we use on that last little experiment? What do we use? Taste, thank you so much, which we have none in, in that actual uh, bit. Uh, but uh, now we're going to talk about the smell of popcorn. You know, cookies baking in the oven, lilacs, fresh ground coffee, bubble gum. They all bring a smile to my lips. Now, tell me, what would you do if you had to identify a fragrance? And tell me what you thought of it immediately. Your hand went up first, so you come up over here, OK? I want you to come around over here on this side. And uh, tell me exactly who you are. What is your name? Stephanie. Stephanie, where are you from? Nashville, Tennessee. Now, do you wear uh, perfume at all? Sometimes. Sometimes. And it's got to smell really good, right? Sometimes. Okay. Well, we have a couple over here. And this one is called Essence de Poubet. Okay. And this one is called Poisson Vu. Okay. And this one is Fromage Touré. Okay. Which one of these would you like to try? Want to try that one? Okay. Here's what I want you to do. Just take this little... Uh, aerosol thing, or I don't know what these, what do they call these things? I forget what they call them. Atomizer, thank you so much. Bob, thank you so much. Okay, you want to spray that either right on, the, you want to put, yeah, just put it on there a little bit. Can you squirt a little on there? Good. And now you want to try and smell that, put that to your nose, and tell me exactly what that smells like. Smells like paper. Smells like paper. Here, now, give me your arm. Just put you, we'll do like a tester over here. Feel anything on that? What's that smell like? It stinks. It stinks! Well, do you know what poisson vu means? Old fish, okay? <laughs> Pretty disgusting, right? Right. Well, we had a little fun with her. We're going to have a little bit more fun with some people than we tried uh, these other fragrances on. So you stay where you are. We're going to come back with an all-new uh, smell vision kind of thing here on What Would You Do? We'll be right back. What would you do will return in a moment. Tonka's Real Power Tool Shop. Four power tools in one power machine. Four easy-to-use tools designed to drill, sand, carve, and cut wood, but not cut you. With easy-to-follow plans for lots of easy-to-make projects. There are lots of teddy bears, but only one Teddy Ruxpin. Hi, my name is Teddy Ruxpin. Can you and I be friends? Sure, Teddy. You're a 
friend is what I'd like to see. Peter Murray, how does he do that? He's a magic bear. One day, we found an He's old treasure map. The treasure was bear. supposed to be My friend Teddy Ruxpin. Teddy Ruxpin, batteries not included. Now, back to What Would You Do? Just talking to all our friends here in our audience at What Would You Do at the Nick Studios in Orlando, Florida. We have just about every state represented today. A lot of folks from Michigan for some reason. But, you know, let's go out now and see how some people reacted to our new line of What Would You Do fragrances because uh, we saw that Old Fish wasn't too good. See what they thought. Do you think people really give their honest opinion when they're asked to test a new product? Let's see how they react to our new line of What Would You Do fragrances. Our first scent is the lovely Fromage Pure, which translated means rotten cheese. This is cruelty free. Take this and bring that up to you and smell that and tell the camera how you like it. Smells good. You like that one? Mm -hmm. Pretty, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, what do you like about this, do you think? It's fresh. Fresh. It's very clean. Yeah. Do you think you would wear something yeah. like this? Yes. Try this, Jason. Here you go. I'll let you take that and hold it up and tell us how you like it. <laughs> what do you think? Just your honest opinion to the camera. No. No. What? What? No. What do you mean? It stinks. It stinks like. Yeah. It smells like a disinfectant. Disinfectant. Going bad. Mmm. Uh -huh. Very nice. Uh, are you sure? It's not like an... This is fromage pure. And what do you think of it? It smells like cheese. Well, that woman really knows her sense. Let's see how poisson vu, or old fish, comes across. Vinegar. Vinegar. Uh, <laughs> do you like it? Would you, would you wear this? How about that? It's very French, very elegant, this one. Isn't that lovely? Well, it's very French. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Why do you like that one, do you think? It's a little more uh, feminine, I think. Feminine, yes. Here you go. And hold it right up to your nose so you can really give us opinion, okay? It smells like cat food. It smells like cat food? You smell it one more time, honey. Are you sure? What? No, uh, just your honest reaction helps us so much. I don't smell too much on this one. Really? Let me yeah. put a little more. No, you don't find it sensual, lovely? No, I sure don't. Uh, to be all honest. Yeah, uh, that's what we need. We need your honest opinion. <laughs> smell opinions. like seafood shrimp. <laughs> seafood shrimp? Shrimp, seafood, hey, close enough. But what about the lovely essence la poubelle, or as we know it, odor of garbage? Tell the camera your honest opinion of how you like it. Oh, you don't like it. You, you don't like it? I don't like the smell. Well, why do you think? Thanks. Kind of romantic. Romantic! <laughs> Pardon? Okay, romantic. Yeah. What the? Well, what about it? I mean... Oh, it stinks. It stinks? Yes, yeah. smell like trash. Give me a card here in the audience, and I'm having a hard time reading. Is anybody able to read small print really well? I have a hard time uh, seeing this stuff uh, pretty good. Sir, you, can you read? Yes. Can you, oh, come on down here a second. Can I need somebody else that can help me out. Uh, how about... Uh, all right, you want you come over and help me out. Hi there. What's your name? Chris. Where are you from, Chris? Loudon, Michigan. Nice to see you. And what's your name? Dwayne. Where are you from, Dwayne? San Antonio, Texas. Okay, good. Now, I, what I have here is... Excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Hello, hello, hello. What? What are you doing here? Oh, I've got to get these props to town stage 22, man. We're, we're doing a show what? called What Would You Do right now. Bo, Bo, oh, this is our producer. Well, hold on. Wait a minute. I'm on the phone here with the coach. I'm doing a show yeah. here. Hold on. Wait a minute, Dave. What's I'm doing a show on? here. Okay. I got a problem. And uh, this man's walking through right in the middle of the, of the taping. All right, I'll get back to you, babe. I'm on the phone with your agent. He's got a lot of appeal. Okay. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Do me a favor, hold this fish for a minute, will you, please? Let me hold it. get this settled. What's your it problem? It's too short, Ty. I'm going to go through over here. You're going to go through over oh, here? Yeah, 
Who do you think you're here today? Uh, just friends. All right, let me tell you something. I'm going to have to call security on this phone. Hey, and man, can... what's the problem? Don't man me on your boss. Okay, boss. We all know that. <laughs> Mr. Man. Mr. Mr. Man. All right, now, uh, uh, really, as you know, I do make your paycheck, Mark. To this, I apologize for this. Are we taping right now? Yeah, remember, if you can't uh, brush after every meal, comb, by the okay. way. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Now, uh, I really think that this is offensive to you and your audience, well, and I think there's only one thing left to do. You work well, for me, is that correct? Well, yeah. All right, take one of these pies. All right. And, Hit yourself and, uh, in the face. Well, Go on right now. Audience, help me out. One, two, three. I think he had to hit himself again. Pardon me? He interrupted the show. I think he had to hit himself I again. I think so. Go ahead. Right now. One, two, three. Now get out of here. Come on. Go on. Get out of here. See you later. Could you take off here? Um, here, take this with you, would you please? Uh, here's what's going to happen here, folks. We just did a little uh, test here. We want to see how observant you both are, okay? So I'm now going to ask you some questions. I'm going to ask you three questions. I'm going to ask you three questions. Whoever has the most correct at the end of this little uh, routine will have a decision to make, okay? I'm going to ask you first, sir. Here's the question. What was that stagehand wearing on his head? Nylon? A nylon, yes, that's right. A nylon stocking or bandana, bandana, that's right. So that's one point for you. Okay, sir. What did the director use to call for help? A banana. A banana, that's right. It's tied one to one. Here is our next question. What kind of shoes was that stagehand wearing? Five seconds. I didn't look. You didn't see. Audience, what was it? Did you see? Roller, Roller skates. OK, you still have one. Here's your question, sir. What did the director throw to me? A fish. A fish. You're right. You've got two. OK. You must answer this correctly to tie him, and then he has a chance to go in the lead. How many pies did the stagehand hit himself with? Two. Two, you're right. Okay, it's now tied. Two to two. Whoops, that was the last one that I threw there. We have uh, one last question here. All right. I need two items that were on the bottom of the cart. If you answer this correctly, you win the game. If not, we have to go to a tiebreaker. Give me two items that were on the bottom of that cart. Foggiest idea. Not the foggiest idea. We had a uh, green net, a beach ball, a globe, some flowers, a basketball, a broom, a lot of things you didn't see anything. Okay, I want you to face this direction. Okay. Bob Brandenburg, our announcer, is going to be standing out there. You put your hand up first if you know the answer. Whoever is first will get a chance to answer. If they're correct, they could win this game. What was on the stage hand's jacket? Oh, your hand went up first. What was on the stage hand's jacket? Silverware. Silverware. Yes, we'll give it. There were spoons on there. You win. You got three of them. And unfortunately, that means you came in second place. Here's the offer I have for you, sir. I have a token. You can take this token right now, and you can uh, go over to the wall of stuff in just a little bit, or you can send this man to either the pie pot or the pie wash. What would you rather do? Tough one. What are you going to do? You can get a prize over there if you do this, or you can see this man wallow in pie. I need an answer. Let's go with the pie. Got to go to the pie. Pie pie. Uh, Give him the pie wash. Pie wash. Let's go over here. We're going to the pie wash. Put that on him. You know, it pays to be observant when you're here on What Would You Do? Strap him in. Make sure that man is in there good and tight. Hold that seatbelt down. Hold on for dear life. Four revolutions. Here we go. Let's turn him around. Here goes number one, number two, number three, and number four. Let's wipe off his face. And uh, take a look at that. Come on back here. You going to watch a little bit better next time? <laughs> yeah, thanks for being with us. Uh, we'll have a round of applause for this man. We'll clean him up. We're going to come back and uh, play some more good things here on uh, What Would You Do? Stay with us. What Would You Do? will return in a moment. How big is Nickelodeon? Plunk from Tyco. Oh, Kelly, the egg ball has a cold. Don't feel good. 
Detroit, Michigan. You get a token. Numbers 1 through 20. Where would you like to go? 3. Number 3. Let's walk over there. And I want you to put that token right there in that wall. And open that door as wide as you can. And what are you going to get? Oh, look. You get a card. Oh, let's see what this card says. It says, roses are red, violets are blue. A trip to the Pie Pod is waiting for you. Come on over here. We're going to the Pie Pod. Come on. We're going to send her over. <laughs> Right there in that chair, we are going to put on the goggles. We now have five pies in that pie pod. We're going to get her all strapped in. We're going to pump her in up to the proper position. Put your hands down in your lap. No fair blocking those pies. Okay, audience, on the count of three, here we go. One, two, three. There's pie number one. Oh, it missed her. Pie number two. Pie number three. Pie number four. And yeah, pie number five. she said. Very yummy. Uh, who else would like to go to the wall of stuff? Somebody else? Pick out another number for me here. What is 35. number 35? Who's got number 35? 
by. Let me. Oh, here she comes. Hi there. What is your name? Jessica. Jessica, are you nervous about this at all? Not really. Not really. Take that token. What door would you like to go to? Five. Number five. Go over here. She's very quiet, very gentle. Oh, I gotta put the token in. Oh, look. She didn't even have to put the token in. It's a what would you do super cup. There you go. There you go. Thank you so much. And I gave, thank you. Who did I give tokens to? Did I give anybody tokens? Did I already give them out once today? If I gave you a token during the show, come on down right now. Only if I gave you a token during the show. Oh, this man over here from our watermelon contest. Hurry up, sir. Come on down. What door are we going to go to? Uh, one. Door number one. Okay, come right over here. Let me tell you what to do, sir. You put that right over there. You stand right over here, and you pull on that as hard as you can. Let's see what happens, sir. No, sir, it's very nice. He gets a what would you do hat. All right. All right, let's hear from this gentleman. Thank you very much. Can we have a round of applause for our great co-host of the day? This is Kevin. Let's hear it for Kevin. You did a magnificent job. Well, we hope you learned a little something about the census today. We hope you had a good time watching people get pie. We always have a good time here on Nickelodeon. Come to the Nick Studios. You're going to have a good time playing in our show and lots of other shows here. So we will see you real soon here on What Would You Do? Bye-bye. in front of a live studio audience in Nickelodeon Studios at Universal Studios, Florida.